<laughs> well, a festival attraction is causing quite a stir, shall we say, in Tennessee. Now, first, we want to warn you, don't be alarmed. The animals mm. really are okay, but take a look at this. Uh, yup, those are the famous fainting goats of Marshall County, Tennessee. Seems those goats get startled real easily and then they faint. Their owner says it doesn't hurt the animals. In fact, they're so popular that the county actually has a festival for them. Goats, the earliest known domesticated farm animal. Today there are more than 400 million of them worldwide. Then there's this little guy. He doesn't get the attention of, say, the more fashionable Angora goat. He's a fainting goat, and he's got a different talent. Lisa Johnson breeds goats in Florida. These goats are called myotonic goats. Many people call them fainting goats, wooden leg goats, stiff leg goats, nervous goats, the Tennessee goats, uh, Tennessee meat goats. So they just have all kinds of nicknames for them. They carry the hereditary gene for myotonia congenita. What happens is that when the goat is startled or excited, it causes a very temporary stiffening of the muscles. And when the muscles relax, after a few seconds, the goat jumps up and runs on its way. They don't call them feigning goats for nothing. It can even be something as simple as being excited over being fed. The adult animals um, typically um, they keep their balance better and what they will end up doing is uh, pretty much bracing on four legs. While it might seem easy to make fun of the fainting goat, there are scores of breeders who love them just the way they are. With us now is a goat lover and expert, Donna Hatcher, who owns the Bedrock Fainters, a herd in Center Hill, Florida. Donna, thanks so much for helping us out here. You gotta tell us, why do these guys faint? They get stiff. They actually have a rush and they get stiff and it only lasts a few seconds. That doesn't hurt them at all. 